Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about rethinking application configuration data. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Expert Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. In recent years, we have seen a shift around following some great practices around effective DevOps and some great tools like Chef Puppet for managing configuration for different languages. While these have helped to inject values during CI/CD pipeline and greatly simplified the management of configuration, the blah.config concept has not completely moved away. Frameworks like ASP.NET support the notion of app setting JSON across environment. And the framework has made it very effective to use these across environments through interfaces like iHosting environment and iConfiguration. But we can do better. One of the key reasons we would want to move the configuration away from the source control is to delineate responsibilities. So let's, let's look at these new concepts. The first one is configuration custodian. So configuration custodian is responsible for generating and maintaining the life cycle of the configuration values. These include crude on keys, ensuring the security of secrets, regeneration of keys and tokens, and defining configuration settings such as log levels for each environment. This role can be owned by operations engineer and security engineering while injecting configuration files through proper DevOps process and CI-CD implementation. Configuration consumers are responsible for defining the schema for the configuration that need to be in place and then consuming the configuration values in the application or library code. Configuration store is the underlying store that is leveraged to store the configuration. While this can be a simple file, but it is a distributed application. This need to be a reliable store that can work across environments. And finally, secret store. While you can store configuration and secrets together, it violates our separation of concern principle. So the recommendation is to leverage a separate store for persisting secrets. This enables the operation team to have credentials, certificate, token in one repository and minimize the security risk in case of configuration store get compromised. Let's look at the external configuration store pattern. Many built-in configuration systems read the data when the application starts up and cache the data in memory to provide fast access and minimize the impact on application performance. Depending on the type of backing store used and the latency of this store, it might be helpful to implement a caching mechanism within the external configuration store. This pattern is useful for configuration settings that are shared between multiple application and application instances or where a standard configuration must be enforced across multiple application and application instances. A standard configuration system that doesn't support all of the required configuration settings such as storing images or complex data types. So let us look at the benefit of integrating Azure Key Vault with Azure Pipeline. Application contain many secrets such as connection strings, passwords, certificates and tokens which if leaked to unauthorized user can lead to a severe security breach. This can result in serious damage to the reputation of the organization and in compliance issues with different governing bodies. Azure Key Vault allows you to manage your organization's secrets and certificates in a centralized repository. The secrets and keys are further protected by hardware security modules or known as HSMs and it also provides versioning of secrets, full traceability and efficient permission management with access policies. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we are going to learn about managing secrets, tokens, and certificates. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.